Welcome back, world. Major League So Rare in your ear, on your screen, in your face, up your nose, around the corner, uh, everywhere, in and all around, hopefully in your heart and soul. This is Trip and B. I'm here with Draft Kicks. How you doing, man? Uh, how is your game week? 371, getting ready to go uh, as we're grinding our way through the MLS season, bro. Yeah, I, I'll i be perfectly honest. I'm on the struggle bus today, Trip. I, uh, we had... Two, three uh, youth soccer practices last night. The wife and I were ready to uh, to go out and grab a drink last night. Mm. Might have turned into uh, to three or four. I'm talking, uh, you know, some high ABV IPAs. So I was I was considered oh, no. questionable coming into the, the podcast. If we were recording this over the weekend, I probably right. would have been a, a DNP, like all those DNP absences that we saw <laughs> in MLS. That would have been me. Yeah. But, uh, I'm here. Yeah. Who, who knew Driusi Drew, Drew, had a month-long uh, groin injury uh, that nobody knew about until, until uh, kickoff of the uh, Austin FC game, right? That was unfortunate. And uh, DNPs are a very much a hazard of the course here uh, as we go make our way through the MLS season, MLS season because it is double game week. And we get to this point where we want to talk about just the so rare grind. You're, you said you're a little, a little hung. I'm a little hung. I went out for uh, U.S. Open Cup, went and saw Charlotte FC. For the oh, crown, yeah. pull off, uh, you know, a nice win. Dethrone the holders of the Open Cup, Orlando City Soccer Club. The Lions are in shambles. Their whole fan base is in disarray. Everybody wants to fire the coach. Uh, Charlotte's on the up. Charlotte's on the come up. So uh, things things are getting wild in the scene. Uh, but we're both kind of feeling it today, I guess, would be the thing. And it's like, it's funny that we're both feeling it in our own personal lives. We're recording this a few hours later than we normally do, full disclosure. But uh, this is why we can't live stream, by the way, also. Uh, and uh, we cannot have a set time. Um, anyway, uh, it's the so rare grind, too. It's just, you know, it's like it's like we've been doing this for a while. Some people are winning rewards, and it's still hard to keep going. Some people are not winning, and they're like, oh, do I keep going? Do I sell out? This game's stupid. The cards are worth less than I paid for them. Da, da, da. You know, it's just funny. Like, what are your thoughts on when so rare is not quite like you have your fire comes and goes with the game and when when your fires burn low as they say on game of thrones uh M melisandre said that to stannis famously your fires burn low my king uh when your fires are burning low in the grind what do you do uh, uh draft kicks yeah like you said it's, it's a grind it's one of those things and i think i even threw this out a few shows ago that it's it's that that marathon not a sprint mentality that you've got to have mm -hmm. and I think we even hit on it before the season started, just when the market was was drying up and we weren't seeing much movement. Then I think I said, look, I've kind of made this investment, made put this much time into it to where I'm in it. Like at least for this season, I'm 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 in it for the halt for the long haul for major league sure. soccer for MLS. And so yeah, I know the decision has been made. It, yeah, like I know every I'm not gonna win a plethora of, of cards every week. I'm not going to hit all three of the ETH thresholds, super rare, rare, and, and limited. So if I win anything, then all I'm, right, I'm happy. All right, all right, the McCon We call that the McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, you know, just even this past game week, I, all I hit was the rare threshold, which was fine. Like, that's a nice little dose to, to kind of keep me keep me rolling from week to mm -hmm. week and uh, just try to, you know, take the, the good with the bad and, and hang in there. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned it, the sweet dose of ETH. What I do, uh, if, it, if we're talking to any tips here, the only tip I would have is change up your routine. Like if you would normally, so like in the USA, most of us MLS players, although we do have a lot of players from Europe and shout out to players, uh, uh, so rare players in Europe, Australia, Asia, around the globe that have checked in with us. I haven't heard from anyone in Africa, but I would love to. Uh, we're, we're a worldwide show. This show is worldwide, baby, for sure. And that's uh, because of all y'all who are, are watching and taking the time to comment and join this community. So thank you. Uh, uh, as it were, that just, you know, giving that shout out almost made me lose my train of th thought, really. But, but uh, in the American time system, the lock comes at like 10 a.m. Eastern time. So that's like 6 a.m. Uh, what, 6 a.m. Pacific time. So, or 7 a.m. Pacific time, excuse me. So it kind of like, it uh, is in the early morning. Wherever your lock time is, change up your routine. If you build like 13 hours before lock and then lock your teams in and just let it go, uh, then maybe build, wait, you know, wait and decide, I'm going to build a one hour before lock and see what happens and see if that changes my luck, whatever. That's just like one way to get through the grind and like deal with uh, 
uh, the grind. It's just change up your routine. Like if, if it's starting to get boring, if so rare is not as like fiery uh, passion as it once was uh, when you first started a few months ago or even a couple of years ago, just change it up. Do something different. Right. And uh, it's all about getting that sweet dose of ETH. As, as you mentioned, thank you for bringing it up. It's become the mantra of the show. Shout out to everyone in the discord who is like adopted the terminology like that makes us so proud because we've been talking about this for years and now we're like we finally like brought it out to the people unleashed it to the world and uh hopefully everyone i want to see what once i start seeing people that i don't know that aren't in our discord but they start talking about the sweet dose out on the social media world then i'll feel like we're really out there doing a, a positive force for good in the world but uh you said you mentioned a rare dose that's all you got you got the single not not the mcconaughey no, I got I got hit with a DMP in my super air lineup. I think I had Blessing in there. He was on the bench, so good to see him return to action. But yeah, right. across the board, there were several lineups that just got blown up with DMPs. Zimmerman was was mm-hmm. one that came to mind. Drew UC was a late scratch that nobody knew of until um, the Z-Bass. game. You know, yeah, until <laughs> the lineups came out for that game. Steve so Bass and the boys offered to. Uh, ruin my lineup you know yeah exactly definitely ruined it so yeah yeah, that was all i got and again i was i was happy with it like it was something right it was more than Mm. more than just a pile of so so rare coins so yeah we need to we start we need to start getting drops in here based on the players that we regular regularly talk about because when you say whenever you mention latif blessing i want to drop the the clip soundbite from uh national lampoon's christmas vacation the yeah. blessing. <laughs> you know? I don't know. It just runs through my head every every time you bring him up. So uh, let's do it. Uh, yeah. So uh, everything uh, was good with me. I got the rare dose as well. I put uh, you know twenty some lineups in. Uh, probably fifteen were real and had a chance, and uh, scored one tier four reward. Picked up a Hollingshead. Your boy, your boy Ryan Hollingshead. Already sold him. Shout out Lumpjaw, uh, who's in the Discord as well. We're making deals. I gave a Discord deal. I knocked a slight. Uh, uh, today's, you know, the the this week is the first week that SoRare's taken five percent off the top themselves. I knocked a little bit, a couple points off the off the off the price point for our, our good friend Lumpjaw, who's a great commenter in the Discord and uh, comments on the videos as well. So uh, got an extra, uh, a little, a little, a little two scoops. It maybe a, a little half extra scoop on top of my double dose. You know, just the pharmacist accidentally let a little bit of sh- uh, you know a little shake in the bottom of the bag, maybe if you will. So. Who little knows? But uh, yeah, let's move. Uh, hopefully, talk about. Uh, tell us about your dose. As always, we we love to hear about it. And when you get the big dose, when you get the wheelbarrow, you know, like when you have to uh, go <laughs> go nuts on it. That that's when you really feel good. That super rare dose is so. Hey, nice. you're, really you're, you're giving me some ideas for for one of the next shows once we hit that, that super dose. <laughs> yeah, skits are on the way. Yeah, there. skits are on the way. So the super dose is going to be like Mario. It's like the mushroom that makes you feel like Mario. Like your account is pumped up and stuff like that. And, if, unless you're a, a mega baller, which neither of us are. Uh, let's talk about uh, the uh, 100 Club real quick. I already brought the banner up, so we might as well bring up the uh, chart. And as we see, it, it doesn't exist this week. Nobody made it to the 100 Club. Kai Wagner came close. Hanny came close. A hat trick doesn't get you 100. Don't you think that should be – like, I bring this up just to say, don't you think a hat trick should get you 100? Like – if you get a hundred, like don't a uh, hat trick, don't you think that's a hundred points? Like regardless, like yeah, a hundred or more. Get, yeah, a hundred yeah, or exactly. more. I get I get frustrated when I see a player hit a hundred mm-hmm. and keep going, and then you're like, what? Like it just stops. Like they Oof. they need to be rewarded. The matrix right? is broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The matrix is broken. Yeah, it used to be in the old scoring. Like there was a way. Like you couldn't go. You couldn't stack negative decisives before they changed it, and that made it so goalies that like got absolutely destroyed still had sort of like a, a, a base floor that they couldn't go below, but now now they get punished uh, equally. Eric Tommy is my my shout-out on this list, though. Uh, made 86 this week, uh, made his run at the 100 Club, and uh, he, he just looked awesome. Uh, Sporting KC with a statement win against Seattle on a Sunday National Island game. Very cool to see. And Tommy with the goal and the assist, he was just he, – he, he looked like the Tommy we'd wanted to see. I almost feel like – Man, why didn't I buy this guy a week and a half ago? Uh, as uh, as Polito and uh, and others started to come back into the team, what do you what do you think of KC and Tommy? I know you love Amelia. Amelia is the mascot of the show. Yeah, now I've been. I feel like I've been beating the SKC drum for a few weeks now, and they finally came good with that big road win mm-hmm. over Seattle. Uh, I think you saw Alan Polito get involved. I want to say he did. He had a great. Johnny Russell may have had a, yeah. a secondary assist or something. So. 
like I said, they've got the they've got the tools and they've got the pieces in in place. It's just a matter of them coming together and finally performing. And yeah, Tommy is a big part of that because he's kind of you know he's he's definitely one of the big pieces in their attack. And after last season, he he finished the season real real strong. So he was higher on my radar. I think I had him in limited. I didn't pick up a rare. Uh, but yeah, now I'm I'm with you. I'm kind of wishing that I had jumped on that earlier. That seems like that's always the case, right? You're like, oh man, I knew that guy was gonna start picking up. I knew that guy was gonna go off at some point. And here we are um, without a card. Yeah, yeah. I I, I want to scout him. I wish the, the thing about Tommy is there's very few super rares. He's super like whenever I see a guy like, oh man, I wish I could get him. I, I check out all the scarcities and I was like, oh, it always. Remi-. Whenever I look at Tommy, I'm reminded like there's very it's very hard to get a Tommy super rare. Uh, I think Gator guy. I think our boy Gator guy ahead of the pack as usual. Uh, found Always. a way to get one in the off season. Yeah, exactly. So the 100 club, good for y'all uh, that almost tried to get there, but you didn't get there. How about some other quick takes from 369s? We move on. I, I gave you Tommy as my sort of big, big uh, sort of caught my eye the most. Uh, you wanted to talk a little bit, I think, in our, from our pre-show notes uh, as we let some people in on the process there. Uh, about coaching changes and just like the fact that some coaches are starting to get sacked and that changes situations and opens situations up for guys and things like that. Yeah, definitely. It's that time of year where, you know, MLS teams are a third of their way through the season, Mm -hmm. not getting it done. Then, yeah, you're starting to see uh, that that coaches carousel, I guess you could Mm -hmm. say, because like sometimes they'll end up at another club. Sometimes they'll just be gone altogether. But yeah, uh, Ezra Ezra Hendrickson being gone from Chicago, and that's a big one for me. I feel like they, they just... said they said Chicago they're not going to hire a new coach all year. They're going to give the assistant's going to be the interim for the rest of the year. Yeah, yeah. Kinda and like I think I've seen some stuff kind of year. floating around about the assistant's going to give Shakiri a little bit more freedom on yeah, the wing. I've heard that as well. So I think. He might be one that could benefit from from this move. That was that was brought up in the Discord. Uh, so you know, f- jump in there for the for these uh, these hot tips before the videos come out for sure. Yeah, but yeah, just in general, then yeah, the, the all the coaching changes are definitely worth keeping an eye on how that affects individual players. Mm-hmm. And yeah, just goalie situations. Definitely- I'm, that's another sure. uh, th- like as soon as someone posts about Ezra being fired. So one of our commenters like, how does this affect the goalkeeper situation? I'm like, well, I don't think it's going to change Chris Brady, but you know, it, a, a coaching change can have a huge effect on on, uh, on goalkeeping for real. Yeah, if if, uh, if what's his name uh, Vermees, if Vermees is gone, uh, we're, we're going to see draft kicks like sprinting, like the Forrest Gump gift, sprinting to the market to list all his millions like ASAP. So <laughs> who knows? <Right>. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But, hey, he, uh, he just picked up his first win. That, that it's it's kind of funny to me that that's like a huge, still a huge talking point, which I guess rightfully so because you know we've said that Vermees it doesn't feel like he's safe. Sporting Kansas mm-hmm. City just picked up their first win, but who was in goal for their first win this season? Timmy Melia. It was Timmy Melia. It's a, a, a big win. It was, it was a road win at Seattle. Where you know I, I don't know if Pulse Camp goes in there and gets that for sure. I agree. Yeah, but it's just that. It goes back to me saying, like, I feel like Sporting Kansas City want to instill some confidence in their keeper. Just no point in going back and forth just for the fun of it. Like, they they want to have a number one and stick with it and be confident mm-hmm. in him and him be confident I guess their guy. So. so, yeah, I mean, talk about the grind of Sora. How about the paranoia of Sora? Do does it get to the point where you just you get so scared because you get burned two or three times on goalkeepers that you bought and didn't work out? And all of a sudden, you start thinking worst case scenario for whatever keepers out there. It's just like, like I, I can't trust this guy. I can't trust guy. I can't trust that guy. I, you can't trust anyone. Yeah, and it's it, it is rewarding too if you do invest and in, say you've got a starting keeper and you invest in their backup. Then mm-hmm. it is rewarding when that backup comes good and you know, maybe there's an injury or maybe there's international duty, whatever it is. Then mm-hmm. yeah, it's I don't know. It feels like. That's a strategy that I've kind of started to uh, latch onto a little bit more as I've as my sober career has grown. I guess you could say. Then it's a real thing because uh, keepers' jobs are predictable for the most part, but there's that little bit of unpredictability that uh, if you do have some backup keepers and they all of a sudden they're thrown into the mix, then hey, their value spikes immediately, and so does your uh, your sober data value. I guess you could say. 
Yeah. Only other uh, major takeaway that I guess we could say from uh, game week 369. Let me bring up the screen here. It's been. It's it's been show a friend of the show, Zhang Sang Bin, been it to win, Bin a soda. Uh, well, you know, it, uh, he pulled in uh, the late goal, 10 AA points. Nice little game for Binner. Hopefully, if you, if you bought on Bin, now it's time to start reaping the rewards. I think he's going to have more more good games. What do you think? Well, yeah, and apparently his cohort Emmanuel Reynoso is back with the club. Uh, we know he's teeing you up out. for that. You knew right. exactly where I wanted you to go with that. Very good job. That's that's what yeah. it is. Yeah. So that'll be interesting to see how that plays out. I can only think it helps his situation just having somebody else to uh, to mm-hmm. feed him balls and you know work off of each other. So yeah, who knows exactly when Reynoso will make his first appearance? I know he's basically suspended by the club, so, and I think maybe even the league. You're the MLS insider, so we need your insight here. Uh, you don't, you know, not you. You, if you're treading on thin ice, you can you blink twice or whatever. You don't have to let us know. But how can the league suspend Reynoso for not reporting, and then he reports? It's like okay, you're out of suspension. Your suspension was based on the fact you hadn't reported. You've now reported. How are you still like just why are we still still dealing with the suspension? I thought the suspension was just kind of a legal mechanism so they wouldn't have to pay him during the time he wasn't reporting. But now that he's here, I mean, I, does it keep going? I guess. I really cannot say. I don't know. I know it's not just uh, I can, I'm on thin ice. I just don't know all the details of the suspension. Uh, I would imagine it has a lot to do with yeah. If he if he's in a contract with the league, then. There's certain requirements that he's got to meet as far as uh, appearances and press releases, that kind of thing yeah. that they have to cover their bases on. And yeah, if he's just a hundred percent not cooperating, give me. So yeah. here's what I'm going to say: before, or after the All Star break for you, we see Reynoso in action for Minnesota United. So let's see, All Star game is July nineteenth. July nineteenth. Yeah, we'll see him before that. So two months. I think it's just. Yeah, I think I think I'd say Closer maybe one month and two a month. Yeah, I'd say probably yeah. a month. We'll we'll probably hear some news as far as uh, how long, how much longer he's. Well, he was suspended. being held captive. You know, he escaped. I don't know who he he escaped from Argentina. I guess he dug a tunnel uh, from the cell. I guess you know at some point he Andy Dufresne his way back to America. But uh, God love him. Maybe he was just finally waiting for it to get warm in Minnesota. That's been my working theory the entire time. Because if you remember, he was actually a little bit late to report to camp last year. I mean, so it's like it's not like this has never <laughs> have been without at least some uh, you know signals in the direction that this uh, type of disaster could have happened. But as a Reynoso rare and super rare holder, welcome back, Bebello. We love you. I hope all is well. Uh, you should never have pistol whipped that kid, but. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you got a lot of you got a lot of got a lot other things going on as well. Uh, odds check. Uh, it's time to talk about 371. We've wasted enough time looking back. Let's look forward. And uh, it's time to check the odds. Uh, I pull them up here. We see Chicago Fire favored over St. Louis. Atlanta favored over Charlotte. That's a mismatch, I think. Montreal, slight favorite over Toronto. Toronto's in disarray from what happened in the Open Cup. And uh, the crew are nice big favorites over Orlando City, who's also in disarray over what happened in the Open Cup. What do you like on this first pay, uh, page of the sheet? And uh, where, where are you going? Who, who are players that jump out to your mind when you see these teams who are favorites and have nice matchups? Yeah, the first team that jumps out is Columbus Crew at home against Orlando City. Mm-hmm. Cucho Hernandez is back. He's scoring goals. Uh, Zella Rayan is firing. And, uh, yeah, like you said, Orlando City just bowed out of Open Cup to your guys. Uh, and, yeah, I just feel like mm-hmm. it's a good spot for for the crew at home. Keep some momentum rolling. And I do like Chicago Fire at home against St. Louis City. I feel like that game is interesting because it's going to be their first game with their interim coach. So, yeah, let's see how they react there. And Atlanta at home against Charlotte, like, they're the biggest favorite on this in this on this group, page, yeah, a little bit of a surprise, which is crazy. Yeah, they're bi- they're yeah, bigger favorites than Columbus, which makes no sense to me. But I do know, Char- yeah. I can tell you, Charlotte is banged up. As a huge Charlotte fan, I love them. I, I cheer for them. And I like their chances to go into it. Uh, you can always get goals past Westburg, right? So it's like going going into Atlanta doesn't necessarily scare me. Almada did absolutely put on a masterclass against Charlotte in Charlotte a couple weeks ago, earlier in the season. 
So I think I know Atlanta's a tough matchup. They can make Charlotte look bad, but uh, and Charlotte's not very deep, so I get the odds. But I, I, I like Charlotte FC, and I'm just going to call for a match. I mean, it's the Charlotte's plus four twenty as of the odds uh, sheet that we loaded up here. So I don't know. Maybe I'm smoking something, but uh, <laughs> I do think that uh, Charlotte has a chance. Well, maybe that's a teaser for the definite decisives. You never know. But uh, uh, here's page two: Inner Miami and New England, basically a toss up. New England. RIP to your open cup dreams. You're out of the cup. You are no, uh, you're not going to win the cup because you lost to the Pittsburgh Riverhounds. Shout out MLS card guy and Alec, uh, who are the Pittsburgh Riverhounds employees who I work with on uh, the So in the States pod as well. So, uh, good friends. And, uh, they have been partying probably still since that matchup happened. New York Red Bulls, slight favorites in the river city derby do they call what do they what do they call uh, the new york derby the, the gotham derby we should mention it's rivalry week right you, you may have noticed from all these matchups i love that new england and inner miami are the rivals also by the way but uh not all these can be perfect rivalries austin is a favorite over dallas with no drew UC, which doesn't make sense to me in houston seattle is kind of a clash of the western conference titans at this point right late night the closer of the evening uh, Colorado Rapids versus Philadelphia Union is a toss-up. The Union also bowed out of the cup. Kai Wagner had a hell of a night. And then uh, LAFC is road favorites against Real Salt Lake. I, th- I think we're expecting to see a rotated LAFC side, right? Or are they just going to rotate in the uh, champ- CONCACAF Champions League? That's kind of the question that uh, we will be able to see answered by seeing who they end up playing. I, th- I think they can go into Real Salt Lake and get a win without a full-strength team. Uh, we shall see Portland Timbers and Vancouver Whitecaps. Portland's favored uh, just by a little bit with plus money, though, still. And the LA Galaxy are favorites over the San Jose Earthquakes. That's weird to me because Earthquakes are actually kind of looking pretty nice in the standings. And the Galaxy are kind of bad. So I guess that's just pure home field advantage in, in the Cali Classico. I know that what they call that one. So uh, Cali Classico looks interesting. Uh, we shall see. I don't know. I think Ricky Puig is is back. Uh, you may tell you can may tell from the fact that my cadence has slowed down here a little bit. They were kind of waiting for Skyler to come back. He he came uh, disconnected from our uh, situation here as I went through some of those odds. So uh, he he's working on coming back to us. But I'm going to call up some of the America matchup sheets and just uh, go through them on my own because that's that's what we got to get to. I think we're and back here. Guess who's back? <laughs> Back again. <laughs> Draft kicks back. Tell a, be a show without oh, a little man. little technical difficulties. I, it be, uh... I was just about to get going uh, going solo, but hey, that, that's how we ride, and that's that's part of what the people love love about us. Hopefully, uh, you can you can make fun of us uh, in the Discord. Come in the Discord. We have a channel in the Discord that's called Show Feedback. You can jump in the feed in the uh, in that channel and just tell us how awkward it was. But uh, quick thoughts. I went through the odds. Uh, you know. As we talk about some of the matchups, who do you like from the Major League Soccer world? I'm going to bring up the um, the uh, America matchups. I, I wish Solar Data would sort this page, this Game Week Center matchups. I wish you could sort by individual leagues instead of just divisions. That's that's one bit of feedback that I would offer. But uh, you know, Nashville looks pretty good. Even even going away on the road, DC United is a, is a place where Handy Mukhtar I think can, can get loose for sure. New England has a nice matchup against Miami. They're going to be looking. Did you see New England uh, win out uh, uh, of the uh, U.S. Open Cup in painful fashion, kind of like and Philadelphia did as well? A lot of good teams. Uh, San Jose somehow is a, a underdog against the Gal- the Galaxy, even though they are way better in the standings. What do you think of that uh, kind of oddity? MLS three seventy one. Come in the Discord and talk to us for strategy for, for the three seventy one preview. We're going to skip straight ahead to our giveaway it's giveaway time i know i can do this on my own even if draft kicks leaves me again so uh it's tough to preview the the week ahead without being able to bounce questions off somebody uh, when you're not as prepared so forgive me for uh you know solo streamers have it rough and i I was not uh ready to carry it right there for a minute so uh once again bryce duke is the one and only uh and we're gonna it's time to give it away we uh i have the card in my possession uh, let me bring the bring back up what's at stake here before we go to the wheel. First, let me show the wheel. Let's tease the wheel here. The wheel is spinning. This wheel has been spinning since the show started. It's got 38 names on it. Uh, it's a spin to win. 
We're doing what we can here. Thanks to everyone. All you had to do was comment on the video uh, that we that we did last week. And uh, we will be doing another one of these with Kamal Miller very soon. Uh, this week, we're giving away Bryce Duke. And it's a beautiful card. It's just an absolutely lovely card. Uh, he's crushing it for Montreal. He had another good game. He, he's he's moving from a cap, a guy for, he used to be a capped mode guy. And now you might call him a... Uh, uh, an America, uh, an America, a champion America guy, wouldn't you? What, what would you say? Yeah, yeah. He's in Montreal now. He's standing over set pieces. They do have Romel Kyoto on the mend. I think he's been out a little while, so I'd be interested to see how that affects Duke's set piece situation. But uh, at any rate, then yeah, his value has definitely uh, jumped up since he moved to, in, to uh, Montreal. Yep. And so, yeah, I think he's only going to go up from here. He's he's kind of been in Miami. It feels like he was a little suppressed. Now it feels like he's given the the keys to the car, so to speak, mm -hmm. uh, in Montreal. So I feel like he's going to be a lot more involved in that For attack. 43 at home against Orlando wasn't great, but we know Orlando's always going to just try to kill a game and make it kind of a miserable game, tough to score fantasy points in uh, – when they go on the road, uh, but uh, he did have the 68 against uh, SKC. I think that's what the decisive is. So the AA needs to come up, but hey, we're giving this card away for free, so who cares, right? Uh, be happy. I have not spun this whatsoever. I did change a few of the settings. Are you ready? Can you give me uh, – you're good at this. Let's bring you back on camera here real quick. You haven't left yet. You didn't disconnect this time. Can you give me the drum roll, please? You're really good at these. <laughs> Beautiful. You beautiful. gotta pull the you gotta pull the wheel up though. Make sure we beautiful. actually see yeah. the wheel there. You've got here Bryce comes Duke the up. wheel. Here comes the wheel. All right. Uh is there anything else I need to do? Let me make it and now it's now it's a full screen wheel. I'm getting rid of the banner. This is this is live uh YouTube uh <laughs> so rare producing here, right here. Are you ready? Are we ready to spin? Three, two, one. Let's do it. Who's it gonna be? BJ Blaze. So I set my settings are a little bit uh, longer on this. So I set for a little bit longer than last time. I think it's like a 45 second spin. Oh. You see 38 names. Impressive. 38 commenters. Thank you so much for people who watch the videos, comment on the videos. Uh, didn't ZM start win the last one? Uh, Lump Joffrey. Oh, wow. It would be amazing if it was Lump Joffrey. He bought the car for me. No, he's gone. Sorry. Jordan Firth is hoping. This thing's going slow, though, Norman W. Oh. Oh. Wow, the drama. The drama. It's moving oh so slow. <laughs> what kind of settings did you How put on this, How much longer? Man? I, put, I put, like, super slow finish. <laughs> oh I put, like, for a 45. Harold oh, wow. Andre Stefanson. We mentioned the global flavor, and I love that very nice uh, Scandinavian name, I would have to assume there. Uh, very cool. Uh, congrats, Harold -er. We will be in contact with you to get you your bryce duke welcome to major league so rare that's what the show's all about baby that was fun and, you know i love so giving away i love the wheel spin that was drama you know i'm seeing so all dramatic. these names pass by yeah so dramatic yeah it's slow yeah wow amazing God. bob barker eat your heart out drew carey eat your heart out the the, the the wheel spinning is what it's all about on this show so i think that'll uh uh just about get us to the definite decisives right is that am i uh am i wrong or am i wrong or am i wrong Let's show how we've been looking. And again, it's not looking good for your boy. Trip and B is hurting. It's been a bad situation for me. And it, once again, my my guaranteed goal guy didn't even get on the pitch because of lightning strikes. They postponed the uh, the Dallas game. Dallas St. Louis. Jesus Ferreira. I mean, didn't I, I made him gray? I couldn't make him red because he didn't get a chance. His game was canceled. If he would have got on the pitch, I think he would have scored. So I put gray and. Uh, Hanny, at least, I put him for a automatic assist. And what does he do? The guy goes and gets three goals. He gets a hat trick of goals. Two were from PK. One was a really nice, uh, not quite a golazo, but a nice open play goal. And then Coronel was horrible. I, I, I don't know what my problem is. I, I keep picking risky, clean sheet picks, and it never works out. But spoiler alert, it may happen again. Skyler uh, gets the greenie from Evander. You know, Ev Evander is finally starting to deliver. I think he had two assists. Uh, yep. uh, if I double check that, you can tell me on that one, Skyler. But Chicharito did not deliver. Takeoka did not deliver. But that's how the definite decisives played out. And uh, what do you think? You got a greenie. I got a yellow and a gray. Do you do you approve of me putting a gray for uh, for uh, our our boy? Uh, Jesus? Yeah, 
I think that's fitting with all with the storms with the forecast. You have the the gray, the dark gray, kind of like mm -hmm. the clouds over looming over Dallas or Frisco, Texas that right. night. So it's yeah, not it's, his fault they didn't play. Yeah, he. I feel like he would have scored a goal. Oh, for crazy. sure. He definitely would have. So, yeah, it doesn't deserve a full-on red. I think gray is fine. Good. But Thank yeah. you. How hey, about your you boy Evander, like, delivering with a double? Is yeah, there a different shade of double? green? Should I, should I make that a dark green? Yeah, Portland Timbers green. How about that? Okay, yeah, I like that. I like that for sure. Very good call. But, no, Evander's coming around. I'm actually – I'll go ahead and drop my automatic assist while we're on it. Evander's coming well, around. Let me bring it, wait, 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 wait. Don't get too far ahead of yourself. Let me bring it up. Let me bring it up. I was too big. I was making I was making the Evander uh, double automatic assist into Portland Timbers uh, green. So the funny thing about this is are we going to lose track of what the color – like if we start putting a bunch of different colors on this, if this thing starts looking like, uh, you know, the Rainbow Coalition, are we going to uh, – Start losing uh, track of what color means what. Who knows? But I'll, will we forget that Jesus Ferrer was rained out of this game, or will that actually help us remember? Who knows? Yeah, what's going to happen is we'll be we'll be spending our time in Discord answering questions. Why is Evander a darker yeah. shade of green on that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Why is exactly. Jesus Ferrer gray? Yeah. Well, you gave it away, and it's a double. You double assisted, and you double pick him. You might as well just pick. You're going back to the well, and I kind of like this. You just let's see how long we can keep the streak going. If he hits, if he does hit this uh, DD, are you going to pick him for a third straight week uh, in in uh, three seventy three or what? We might have to do it uh, again. He's come. I feel like he's finally coming around. I said it on the last show, and then he comes out, drops two assists. Um, Portland are, are starting to kind of come around, and I feel like a lot of that has to do with Evander. He's standing over their set pieces. He's getting off shots, creating chances. So yeah, I feel like. Uh, yeah, pretty good home game against Vancouver this weekend. Gives him another chance to uh, to get back on the score sheet. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna keep riding the Evander train. I love that. And then for your goal, you're going with Cucho Hernandez, which you can't go wrong there. Cucho, yeah, he's back. Uh, he's. I think somebody in Discord was kicking around who are some of the best MLS forwards to have. I think maybe mm -hmm. besides Luanga. And yeah, Cucho's right up there for me. I think he's. Arguably one of the top goal scorers in the league when, when he's healthy. And so, yeah, I feel like this is a game that at home against Orlando, then, yeah, somebody's going to do something. If it's right. not Cucho, then who else is it going to be? <laughs> oh, the segues, the TS. This is why we're such – this is why you can't be disconnecting, bro, because, you you know, you're such a good tier upper. Uh, I'm going in the same game. We're going capture method. I'm going with Lucas Zellerayon for my guaranteed goal. One or the other of us, you know, if, if not both, is bound to uh, – end up with uh, a goal here we'll, we'll figure it out either we'll get the yellow for the assist or the green for the goal or we'll get both or they'll they'll goal assist the wombo we call that a wombo combo by the way from the from the DraftKings day is when when you have the player that gets the goal and the assist that's the wombo combo so that's that's the next bit of terminology that we need to start like leaking out in into the free world is uh get your wombos here get your wombos there wombos lead to doses don't forget that for sure and then for my uh automatic assist i gotta go with my boy eric tommy i shouted him out earlier in the show uh as someone who's just like really impressed me with a uh great game against seattle and he's really starting to like show up and show out and starting to lead the team Sep sporting kc starting to look a lot better i think they're a team that can rise in the table the next two or three months as opposed to other teams that might be falling it, the table is crazy right now san jose is way up there in the western conference st louis still up at the, near the top on points and uh, other, you know, things are crazy in the East as well. The table in a few couple months is not going to look like it looks now. So I, I, I'm bagging Tommy to have a good situation. I wish I would have bought him uh, two weeks ago. I think he keeps the hot streak alive with another assist this week. And then to be a little bit crazy, I also teased this earlier. I think Kalina goes on the road and gets the clean sheet. Let's go, Charlotte, for the crown, baby. I don't care. Kalina is going all the way. He's going to shut out Atlanta in Atlanta. We're going to do back to them what they did to us somehow. It's going to be a little bit of an MLS miracle, but we'll make it happen. And uh, I love the pick. Uh, how stupid am I for making this pick? It's a homer pick for sure. And I think I've called you out on several of the definite decisives. I'm, I'm like, these are definites, right? Like you're you're giving out a definite. Could be right. I know. It's, it's I know. I know. You, call, you have so. called me out on the meaning. If it, it depends on what the meaning of the word definite is, Trip and B. Come on now. What can no, I say? I, I, I see it, and I, yeah, I feel like I don't know. It's it's one of those rivalry matchups that 
uh, that should get up for right. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, for your for your see, cleaning, you're, you're going with a little bit more of a sure thing in Stevie Clark. Yeah, Steve Clark, what a revelation this season. At home, He's has not given up a goal yet this season. Mm-hmm. I think Houston are un, unbeaten and unscored upon at home so far this season. Amazing. So, again, kind of like Clark, last and week. And he's still this, cheap. He's still cheap. Follow the uh, so rare, the Major League so rare goalkeeper watch list, and you'll see that he's still one of the cheapest guys on the damn list. Yeah, yeah, and it – Kind of like last week with Takaoka, he had, I think, four clean sheets in a row. Mm-hmm. So this feels like a little bit of clean sheet chasing. I know and yet that, again, I know that, the, that's the yeah. very phrase you used last week, my friend. <laughs> it is. And they have a pretty tough matchup at home against Seattle. Honestly, just looking at the uh, the slate, it doesn't note there aren't very many games that jump out as like this is a definite shutout. Like it feels like there's so many games that are, are pretty tight across the board. So yeah, I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna ride the hot hand with Clark, and I uh, hope he gets it done again at home. I love it, man. Well, hey, that is what it's all about. That's the show. Thanks to everyone for sticking with us through some uh, technical uh, ins and outs, and and uh, that's that. You know, if you're a fan of the show, you know that we like to keep it loose and tight, and uh, not try to hide anything. So uh, you know, hey, we, a couple of mess ups here and there. Next week, I'm sure I'm gonna be the guy that's disconnecting, and you're gonna be after one that carries us for a couple awkward minutes draft kicks. Yeah, I tried to tell you guys at the top of the show that I was questionable coming into this one. So that's not true. My best, that's true. Not my best we, we, performance. Yeah. yeah. Um, we'll, we'll chalk this one up. Um, didn't didn't quite bring in that the AAs like I was hoping to this show, but we'll be back. Uh, we'll be back next week. But yeah, my yeah, headphone just, just fell out. I mean, this. <laughs> I mean, we're falling <laughs> apart here, bro. This that was not scripted, <laughs> right? <laughs> it happens. Happens, but um, oh man, the so no. rare grind, bro. Technical difficulties. Uh, we're the major league so rare grind is is real today, but we had a lot of fun still somehow through the uh, through the haze, and uh, hopefully it's a fun watch and a fun listen. Yep, yep. We'll be up, we'll bounce back next week for sure, and uh, good luck this game week, guys. Mm-hmm.